welcome back. In this video I'll be going through some of the basic principles which you will need to know to find the perfect space to build your model railway. So the main concern when you first design your model railway is of course where it will go. And where it will go depend will depend on the size of the layout. For example if you don't have a loft, you don't have a shed, you don't have a garage, you are likely to be building a micro layout. If you are then you'll probably want to check out the Billy bookcase layouts because those are layouts which basically like to slot into a bookcase. But if you're not building a micro layout, then you'll want to listen up. Because I'll just go through some of the basic principles of where and why. Okay, so most people build a model railway in the shed or in a loft. Practically, because that's the space that's most full of rubbish and people can clear out. And they're quite vast, so you can have a reasonable size layout like mine. However, it does come with its disadvantages. The lofts and sheds at this time of the year are getting very hot and if you come and have, have a look at the thermometer it says 28.7 degrees and I brought it up oh, 28.8 and it's still going up. I'll come back to that at the end of the video on how hot they get. This is only May the 20th so it can get really hot up here and you don't want a really hot space so you may want to insulate because if you have a hot space some trains don't like it. I have more LEDs and bulbs blown in summer than at any other time of the year and if you're going down the DCC route DCC decoders do not like heat. Extremes of temperature can also cause warping if you're going to use cardboard products for example I am constantly weighing this platform down as it completely bends out of shape and this was straight yesterday and this shows how just a small change in temperature over a couple of days can really affect the realism of your layout. Also you need to make sure your space is watertight. The last thing you want is to have a very perfect layout and for something to leak and you get mould and it will all be washed away and it will look completely unrealistic. I've had drips on trains before and it's been close to ruining the paintwork so you really don't want to go down that route. Some people I've seen build their layout outside now of course that comes with its disadvantages as well. If you build it outside, you will probably have to use nickel steel rail, which you, most people use anyway. Although of course if you build it outside, you probably don't want to go out there when it's dark. Or if it rains, it's you can't run trains. It puts you at a severe disadvantage if you're building a railway outside. But some people like to do it because if you're building it outside, you can have plants as realistic items for uh, example I've known model railways to be outside an OO scale and they've had plants on the layout which represent trees and they do look quite realistic the only thing is they need to be watered and well uh, watered and well kept and in the winter they don't look very realistic so there are some downsides to building it outside as well the best places where you get a reasonable time to model every year with no restrictions will be somewhere well insulated and water time for example if you're building in a room, those are probably the best. You can insulate a loft quite well. A lot of garages though have problems with leakages and so do some lofts, so that's something to bear in mind when you do start the layout. I hope this video has helped you on where to build your perfect model railway. If you have anything else to say, please leave it in the comments below. And if you're still stuck, place to build your layout, please leave that in the comments below as well. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.